I took this photograph of the Orion Nebula from my own back garden using this, a Canon EOS M mirrorless camera, but with one small difference. I broke it. So photographing the night sky really is not as difficult as you might think. All you need is somewhere sturdy to set the camera up, preferably on a tripod, manual controls on the camera so that you can set a long shutter speed, a high ISO, and just let the camera take a picture. So you are going to get better results if you have something like a fast aperture lens, if you have a camera with a good high ISO, if you have a tracker mount that rotates with the earth to give you a longer shutter speed, if you are away from night lights out in the middle of nowhere, they're all going to give you a better result than what you would be able to get. But you can take a photo of the stars from your back garden. So why did I destroy this camera? Well, the nebula like you see here, is actually an exploded star that is releasing a lot of infrared light and infrared light is all around us it comes from the sun and is is around us throughout the day except our eyes can't register infrared light so we never see it but a camera sensor can see it however a camera sensor that sees infrared light suddenly ends up with a very very red tinge to all of the photos so what camera manufacturers do is they put a little infrared filter across the front of it to absorb all of the infrared light that so it never reaches the sensor itself thus giving you a more natural looking photo to how we perceive it but for taking photos of things like the nebulas and stuff we don't want that filter in place so i removed it so i bought this camera with the sole intention of removing the infrared filter which means that for day-to-day -day photographs it is absolutely pointless because all of the photographs come out red but for anybody out there who's interested in photographing the night sky and is maybe looking towards wanting an infrared camera for such a thing, I'd consider one of these and this is why. So this is a Canon EOS M mirrorless camera. It's the original mirrorless camera that Canon produced. And it's the ideal camera to destroy for infrared photography for one very good reason. It is cheap. It uses the exact same 18 megapixel sensor that Canon had been using for years so produces really good quality results, has decent noise performance, but the autofocus system on it was complete garbage. As a result, it's basically worthless for anybody who wants to shoot day-to-day -day outdoor photographs. But when you're photographing the night sky, you don't need autofocus. The good thing is you can pick these up on eBay for practically nothing these days. I bought this about 12 months ago for about 60 pounds. I've seen them on eBay since going for about 30 or 40 pounds. So as a little project, it's well worth it. You can remove the infrared filter from pretty much any camera. I originally removed it from one of these, which is a 1000D. I bought it on eBay for next to nothing because the viewfinder was broken, but I didn't need the viewfinder because I was using the screen on the back. Remove the filter, nice and easy way of taking photos. However, I switched from this to this for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the resolution of this camera is higher and the ISO performance is better, which means for photographing the night sky, it's a, a better choice. In terms of price to performance, it outweighs anything else I could find. And also, being a mirrorless camera, but being mounted onto a normal SLR lens, required something similar to this, an adapter. The good thing is that the adapters are basically just a blank spacer with... No electronics, no nothing serves. The only purpose that they serve is to make sure that the camera is the right distance from the lens in order to see what's in focus. Which then meant I was able to glue a light pollution filter into the adapter in order to produce an even better quality image. You can get light pollution filters that go inside SLRs that help filter out the normal street lights that we have around us all the time. But the problem with doing it for one of these is that it's a, a filter that mounts into the camera and they're quite expensive. Any normal telescope light pollution filter costs basically nothing, which means to fit one onto these is even cheaper. Also, it's touchscreen, which means that changing settings in the pitch black becomes a lot easier because you just tap the screen on the back. So from there, I took one demolished camera, mounted it to a 300mm lens on a tripod, took some photos, and there you have it. So there we go.
If you like taking photographs of the night sky and you want a new little project, buy a camera and break the thing. As always, if you have any comments or feedback or you just think I'm crazy, leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And as always, I will see you later.